Hi, grade 11 student. So in this video, we are going to do a fixed asset as well as a gap principle. So make sure that you watch until the end of the video so that you will gain more principle and more knowledge about a fixed asset nodes. Okay. So in this case, uh, we are going to start with gap principle. We are not going to waste a time here because it's just a multiple choice. Okay. So they said that 1.1.1 you need to choose between all those four. Number one, they said service fee, cash deposit fee, and ATM charge on the bank statement are added together and disclosed as a bank charge. So which one, which principle is this one? So this one, uh, we need to add them together. So it's materiality. Materiality. Because you can't uh, record lot of things is separate because they will waste a time and space okay so you need to add them together then number two defaulting data's amount are written off as bad as even though it may be recovered in the future so it's prudent it's prudent answer for this one then 1.1.3 insurance include 340 which is related to next financial year it's matching concept matching concept okay then the last one obviously is going to be going concern the owner decided to put additional stock which was offered at the discount rate as he knew he knew that this can be sold in the following financial period going concern okay you need to revise this gap principle and other gap, gap principles that are not there okay fix the asset notes now they said that information below are related to malanga ltd for the financial year and we need february 2019 number 1.2.1 they said that um, give one suggestion that the internal auditor can use to check whether uh, okay apologies guys i'm reading the wrong question here calculate the missing amount denoted by one up to five 17 marks so this is the one that we are going to do okay now let's check they give us a fixed asset so roman figure number one they said that we need to calculate a current value on 28 february 2019 so remember when we talk about land and building there's no depreciation in this case simply means that what we need to do is to calculate the cost price plus addition then we will get what our roman figure number one this one is very simple because land and building is not complicated there is no depreciation okay so you are just going to say a four million the balance at the beginning plus 570 of addition then if you do this calculation you're gonna get four million five hundred and seventy thousand as your answer okay four million yes four million five hundred and seventy thousand okay then number two roman figure number two they want you to calculate additional of vehicle okay number b they say depreciation number c a new vehicle was purchased on 1 december 2018 they didn't give us how much which means that we need to calculate it as a balancing figure so we need to check at the cost at the beginning as well as the one that have been sold if you check there is a vehicle that was sold under extract number d okay the cost price of that vehicle it was 132,000. So which means that this is the one that is going to assist us to calculate additional. Because balance at the end, we have it. Which means that we have to start from bottom going up. Okay, this is what we are going to do. The balance at the end is 564,000. Then now we need to add back what has been sold which is 132,000 then we subtract the balance at the beginning 
then it will give us additional okay it's gonna give us the one that is a uh, that we are looking for minus 576,000. then it's gonna give us additional of 120,000. and if you start from bottom to going down again you will find this answer this one the one that we take from the last balance if you take 576 plus addition of 120 that we got minus cost of 132 then you will get what there's the balance of 564 okay if you start from 176 okay this is our answer very simple and there is a format for this okay now uh roman figure number three we have to calculate a depreciation okay a disposal okay for disposal guys we need to calculate at current value we know that a cost of vehicle that has been sold is 132 but they are looking for current value of that day if you check a current value is cost minus total depreciation yes we have 132 of depreciation but we must subtract depreciation of 2017 first which is 113 200 okay and now we need to subtract for 2018 until 30 september so for 20 for year end 2018 is gonna give us the same why because if you take they say depreciation of vehicle is 10% on cost, which means that 132,000 multiplied by 10% for 2018, year end 2018, which means that this year started 2017, is going to give you 13,200. This is for 2018. Remember this one is for 2017 because it was purchased 2016. This is for year end 2017, for year end 2018, which is going to be subtracted like it's double. It's not double. This one is for 2017, this one is for 2018. But we are not done because our year is ending uh, 2018 because we have the third one. If you check, we have the first question mark on the second table and another one on the second table, which means that the, this one we did it is 13. 200 now we have to do for this one but for this one it's not up to february 2019 it's up to 30 september 2018 which means that we need to calculate from 1 march 2018 until 30 september 2018 so which means that it's going to give you how many months seven months so which means that when you calculate your depreciation now for 2019 you are going to say 132 multiplied by 10 percent and multiply by 7 over 12 okay if you do this you are going to get 7700 then you will get your current value of 97900 very simple like that okay this is answer which is having five marks okay now we need to calculate a depreciation roman figure number five we need to calculate a depreciation how are we going to calculate depreciation the first one guys we already for this year only guys all this one is old only this one is for current year this one is for previous year and we have under depreciation we calculate only for for the current year which means that for disposed vehicle we already have it for this year is 7700 we didn't use the whole year we only used for seven months that's why we only have 7700 than 13200 and after that we need to calculate for new one remember we bought a new one of 120 which means that we're going to say 120,000 multiplied by 10 percent but we need to count months it was purchased on one december December, January, February. We use it for three months. Multiply by three over 
twelve, then we will get amount of three thousand. Okay, then remember beside all these we have the balance. The remain the balance. We have other vehicle that they didn't talk about, which means that those old one we need to, to say five. 76 the balance at the beginning and we take out this one because we calculated it separate the one that has been sold 132 thousand we have to take it out so that we can calculate the remaining one separate which is which is going to be 10 over 100 10 percent we don't count a month because they were there the whole year with no other problem okay if you do this you're gonna get 44,400 okay then after that you have to add them together and get the total that you are going to do it to add it to your Roman figure number five 55,100 that's how we should do it guys thank you so much for watching grade 11 don't forget to subscribe and like this video share with friend and please Go to playlist of grade 11 and check other fixed assets and notes and other topics because I already recorded almost all topics for term 1, for exam, for all terms I already recorded. Make sure that you go and check so that you can learn more and more. I'm going to see you on the next one.